Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Clutcher Channel and Universal Studios Orlando, where today we're going to talk about Express Pass. This video will go over the different ways you can get Express Pass, the different options, when to use Express Pass, the pricing as well as how to acquire discounted rates on Express Pass, and of course, we are going to test all of the Harry Potter rides using Express Pass. Let's talk about Express before we test it out on the Harry Potter rides. There are four ways you can acquire Express Pass. You can add it to your ticket purchased through Universal Studios Orlando on their website or at the ticket counter. If you stay at a premier hotel at Universal Studios, Express Pass is included with your stay. We'll talk more about that. If you are a premier annual pass holder, Express is included with your pass after 4 p.m. every day. And the fourth way you can purchase Express Pass is from our friends over at Undercover Tourist. And this may be one of the best options because this is the only place you can get discounted Express Passes. So now we know how you can acquire Express Pass. There are two different types. Standard allows you to ride on each participating theme park ride once per day per valid Express Pass. And Unlimited allows you to ride each participating ride an unlimited amount of times. So if you wanted to ride Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts 10 times, or if you wanted to ride the Hogwarts Express back and forth for the day, you can do so with unlimited Express Pass. In addition to the different types of Express Passes, there are different tiers based on what theme parks you'll be visiting. You can purchase both the standard and the unlimited Express Pass as a single park Express Pass, which means you choose either Universal Studios, which is where Diagon Alley is located, or Islands of Adventure, which is where Hogwarts and Hogsmeade are located, or you can purchase Express Pass for both parks per day. And another thing to mention, there are no group Express Passes. Each person in your party has to have their own. Now it is a moderately busy day, so when we test this out, it'll be interesting to see how much time we save with Express on a moderately busy day. Let's test Express out on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, which currently has a 55 minute wait for the standard line. Let's start the clock. With Express, it only took four minutes and six seconds to get on the ride. That is quite the time saver. So when should you use Express Pass? I think the obvious answer is, the more crowded the day, the more beneficial it will be. But also keep in mind that the more crowded the parks are, the more expensive Express Pass is going to be. Another excellent time to purchase and use Express Pass is if you only have one day here and want to ride as many rides as possible. Flight of the Hippogriff, 45 minutes. Time starts now. Stay in your seats the whole time until my helpers tell you it's safe to get out. All right, so 22 minutes on Express. Now the Flight of the Hippogriff wait time may have been a lot longer because normally they ride two trains at once. Today they were only riding one. All right, next up is the Hogwarts Express 35 minute standard wait. 
Now, in order to ride the Hogwarts Express, you do need a park-to-park -park ticket or an annual pass, so keep that in mind. Now, if you are a Premier Pass holder or you are looking into becoming a Premier Pass holder, one of the benefits here at Universal Studios Orlando is you will receive Standard Express after 4 p.m. every day that your annual pass is valid. So that means you can go on every participating ride one time through the Express Pass line after 4 p.m. All right, here we go. Now this is the Express Pass line. The standard line goes this way and goes underneath the station. So we're not seeing how long the line is, but there's a line there. And here is the standard line. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome Express. So we are already ready to board the train at three minutes and 33 seconds. Now all we have to do is wait for the train to arrive. Seven minutes. We have one more ride to test Express Pass on, and that is Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit more about Express Pass. We discussed Premier Pass holders and Express after 4 p.m. Now let's talk about the Premier Hotels. There are three Premier Hotels at the Universal Studios Resort property. Portofino Bay, the Hard Rock, and the Royal Pacific. Now those three hotels are more expensive than the others here at Universal Studios, but the cool thing about being a guest there is that everyone staying in your room receives unlimited express and it works from check-in day to check-out day so if you're only staying one night you can actually use it the day you check in and the day you check out let's talk about the cost of express pass the cost varies per day and based on how crowded the parks are expected to be it also varies based on what express ticket you choose to purchase now we know that undercover tourist offers discounts on express passes they also offer discounts on Universal Studios park tickets and and hotels. So you can get a discount at one of the premier hotels that offer Express Pass. Click the link in the description down below to see what a discounted Express Pass will cost you from Undercover Tourist. And this looks to be the end of the express line. Just about five minutes. Nine minutes to get into the first show. I was about sure I knew the plans. I'll just get the keys. I moved them. All you have to do is ask. Mother, can I describe the journey to the vault as a high speed? All right, I waited 15 minutes and 35 seconds. Now, I didn't ride the ride. I was just touring Gringotts, walking through the queue to see how long it would take. 15 minutes, that's a lot of time saved. We saved a lot of time using Express Pass. Now, I wanna mention, we just went on the Harry Potter rides. Express Pass will work on all of the participating rides and attractions here at Universal Studios Orlando Resort. If you would like to learn more about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Universal Studios Orlando, you will find a lot of informational videos here on the Potter Collector channel with tips and tricks to help make your visit extra magical. If you would like something that you can read and refer back to about Express Pass, our friends at Undercover Tourist have written the ultimate guide to Express Pass at Universal Universal Studios Orlando. I will link that down below as well as their website if you would like to try to purchase discounted express passes through them. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. 
Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?